What's up people and welcome to the fifth part of my introduction to distributed systems tutorial. So this video is going to be uh, pretty unrelated to the topics that we discussed previously. And I'm going to go through something called the CAP theorem. And uh, the CAP theorem uh, stands for CAP, so CAP with C, where the C stands for consistency. Uh, so that all clients always have the same view of the data. So basically in practice what this means is that if you have multiple clients and they do the, for example, a read to the database, they will all, all get the same data back always. So they won't get different data. And uh, so that is consistency. And then you would have availability, which means that each client always, uh, they can always read and write. So you won't deny a client and have them waiting, but they will, they will uh, get to read or write. And the last thing is the partition tolerance, which states that the system should work even though you might have physical network partitions. So in our case, that means like uh, a partitioning might be that maybe like these two nodes, they know about each other, but they're disconnected from these two nodes. And these the two nodes you know, know about each other, but they're disconnected from, from these two nodes. So that is an example of a, a, a partitioning. And the cap theorem states that you can you can pick two of these, but you cannot have all three uh, at the same time. So you would have to relax the requirements of one of these um, one of these like CAP. So I think this is pretty interesting because historically speaking, we we started out here. Uh, I, I I dare say like we started out with the relational database management systems like MySQL and Postgres and all these, where they would have you know consistency so you would always get the same data when you do a read for example and you would also have the availability saying that you know you won't be denied uh, doing a read or a write but you won't have this partition tolerance so you know you can be you know you disconnected and uh, not be able to to do the read and you know this worked initially when when we just used the traditional databases but you know, eventually the, the databases become so large that you had to split them up between different servers because you couldn't scale up anymore, you have to scale out. So you had to distribute your database. And, and then you would run into the problems of partitioning. So, uh, so then came along some other systems like MongoDB that you know, they relaxed the availability a little bit and uh, instead would have the partition tolerance so they would use sharding to different servers and then relax the availability of that. And also Bigtable, which is a Google implementation where you have uh, fast depends and you can store really big files and, uh, and stuff. And then you would have HBase, which I believe is the open source implementation of that. And Redis and some other stuff here, right? And then you would also have the AP stuff uh, like... Uh, when availability and partition tolerance is more important than consistency. And I think this is where many, you know, the hot topics are today. Also, like, here and here, of course, but especially here, like, uh, so they relax the consistency, saying that, you know, it's, it's better that we have much higher availability and partition tolerance than that you will actually get consistent data back. So what this means in practice is that if multiple clients do a read to the database, they might get different values back. And, uh, you know, so they don't necessarily get the same data when they read. And I think this is pretty interesting because, you know, it's like when you think of the CAP theorem, it's not like you would totally discard one of them, but it's more that you would relax them a little bit. So in practice, what this means for the AP applications, it means that it isn't strongly consistent, but it is eventual, you have eventual consistency. And you know, uh, many times you get pretty damn close to having strong consistency, but you like fundamentally you won't have it 100%. So uh, what this means in practice is like, for example, if you go to YouTube, you might see, you have eventual consistency of the data where you will see that the number of views that you have on some video might state some number on some page, and then you go to some other page, it might state like a little bit lower number because you have eventual consistency and you know eventually would they would be have the same value but they don't have it at that time and what this works really good if you if throughput is more important like availability is more important than your consistency 
And here you will see systems like Cassandra, which is the uh, database that Facebook uses, you know, because they have huge data sets and CouchDB and um, <clears throat> React and all these like big systems. So um, that is the, what the CAP theorem states. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. See you. Bye-bye.